is local to the Boston area, trains in action athletics. Uh, he will be attending uh, Colorado University Boulder this fall. And he's working to form a new team with Pete Dillman. Most of you know uh, Pete Dillman if you are familiar with the New England area. Unfortunately, Pete not able to qualify for the um, elites this year, but maybe if they start a ninja team, we'll get some more training in while he's at college. I don't believe there are any collegiate ninja teams yet. I would love to see some, though. That would be fantastic, actually. A year ago, made it to fidget finale, but we know he is insanely strong. I remember there was an ultimate obstacles competition where the young adults and adults had the same course, or maybe it was a TA Fitness, one of the two. Um, you know, all those Massachusetts gyms just blend together for me, being, <laughs> being a Northeast pleb. Uh, Although he's floating through Park Place. But I remember Easy six work. of the top seven athletes were young adults. And that was the day I told Chris, we need to have an elite division. And now Ethan making his mark. Ethan, the reason I bring that up, won that competition oh, outright, beating many of the elite competitors that you're going to see here today. 18 seconds left. Splat a lot. Come on, Ethan. Wow. Ethan has always done well at competitions. You see that focus. He's not panicking. He's just knowing, all right, I got to get to the platform. Hit and that then buzzer. he does. 114 through the third fastest time. Ethan Zimmerman will be on to stage two and could be one to watch out for.